Hi, it's Glenn here to tell you a little bit about our I.O. section in Pro Tools. This is Pro Tools 10 and we're just going to have a little look today at our I.O. section here which is our input paths and output paths of various channels, uh, tracks and auxiliaries and masters and so on. So you might notice some of them here are greyed out. The greyed out ones are not available and that means they're probably created on another piece of hardware, another uh, studio where they had different analog inputs that aren't available with our Mbox hardware that we have running at the moment. All the outputs are actually selected out 1 and 2 which isn't very descriptive but it happens to be the output of our Mbox but I'd like to make that a little bit more descriptive and I find it easier maybe if we just call that one speakers so we know that these channels, these tracks of audio and uh, instrument tracks and so on are going to go to speakers. So to rename an output path we can simply right click and go rename. I'll call that one speakers. And now we can see all of our instrument tracks, audio tracks, auxiliaries and everything are all going to the speakers. If I want to change some of them but not all, I can do them individually by simply clicking on the uh, output path selector, coming down to a bus or a valid output itself. I can go to a mono speakers left or right or a bus. Now the yellow ones are being used in the session currently and the white ones are not currently used in the session. So I'll pick say bus 11 this one and now because it's a mono output we don't have a pan control it's not being panned between a stereo bus if you like any that are going to two buses left and right we can pan between left or right or equally to both now if I want to do a bunch of tracks at the same time I can select one nameplate and I can shift click hold down shift and click on another nameplate it'll select all the tracks between those two and if I want to do all these at the one time which is uh, a tedious process if you did them one at a time if you're doing a whole bunch we can hold down alt key and shift key and we click on the output selector choose a bus let's say bus 1314 for example and now those tracks or those channels are all going to go to bus 13 and 14 while the rest of our session is still unaffected so it's a quick way to select all your drums and send them to an auxiliary without having to do them one at a time. You may wonder how do I do ones that aren't necessarily next to each other. So let's click on bass. What you do on the PC is hold down the control key and I can select any in any order and they don't have to be contiguous. In other words they can be anywhere in my session. Hold down alt and shift. Click on one of them. Let's go to bus 11 and 12 and you'll see that those ones are going to go to bus 11 and 12 while the rest are unaffected. Okay, so if we just hold down Alt, which is Option on a Mac, but Alt on a PC, it'll do to all. So if I click on one of my input paths, I go Interface. Now this is a mono channel, so it's only going to go to one interface. I can't choose a stereo interface, or from a stereo interface, only from a mono one. I choose In One. It'll select only all the valid ones which are all the mono channels. So anything that's mono gets selected as input one. Of course anything that's stereo is still unaffected because we haven't selected a valid path for that one. My stereo ones I can do the same thing. Go Alt, click on a stereo input interface. We'll see now that it's a stereo interface in one and two. And they're all now going to be fed from inputs one and two on the Mbox. Okay I hope you've enjoyed a little bit of information about the IO path selectors and that that's helped you a little bit with your Pro Tools.